Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a data frame from scratch in R. So we are going to take a look at two methods with which we can create data frame. So before we go for that, you need to understand that while creating data frame, we make use of data.frame function. Okay. So first thing, open R Studio, then create one R script. Here, we're going to create two vectors. So first vector is going to be holding our name as ABC, then XYZ, and then MNO. Okay, so these are just characters. Then we are going to have some numbers. So let's name it. 20, 30, 40. Okay. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to create data frame df. For that, we are going to call data.frame and then call for name and age. Okay. So these name and age vector will form collectively a data frame. So we can check how it looks by simply typing df. So let's execute this and check on our console. So we have our first vector name, then have age as second vector, then our data frame, which holds these two vectors. Then finally printing that data frame out. So here's our DF data frame that holds name and its respective age. Now second method, we are going to create data frame using random row data. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to call for df let's name it df2 and call for data dot frame function and here I'm going to call for matrix function and choose random 20 using our norm and then n row equals to let's say 6 so we have 6 rows of data and what we're going to do with it is basically it will have random data within that. Next thing, we'll just print out the content of that data frame. So let's execute. Okay, it will throw error that data length 20 is not sub multiple multiple of number of rows 6. Okay, fair enough. We will just fix that with 10 because it needs to be multiple of our rows okay so if you have six here it has to be 20 here or 12 here so that your rows will have multiples of that data okay so let's execute again okay this time it worked just fine now let's print the data and you got 10 rows with your random row data in x1 and x2 column of your df2 data frame so you see two different ways of creating data frame from scratch in r